And the Greece's uh, Prime Minister has apologized for the government's failure to tackle devastating wildfires. Hundreds of firefighters continue to battle fast-moving blazes across the country. And the island of uh, Elvia is uh, among the worst affected. And now with Jabakio reports. The flames are still raging, but for those caught up in Greece's wildfires, leaving their lives behind is proving a difficult choice. Among the hardest hit areas is the country's second largest island, Evia, where for an eighth day in a row, the overwhelming force of nature is being felt. The police came. They told us to evacuate the village, but unfortunately we cannot evacuate because this is our property and we worry that if we leave, our homes will be burned. Helped by foreign support, Greece's emergency services are attempting to fight back. On the outskirts of the capital, Athens, worries are growing about new blazes where the potential risks are much higher. The speed at which the fires are spreading has angered many Greeks, who claim the government should have done more. The extent of the destruction, especially in Evia and in Tiga, blackens our hearts. And I am the first to apologize for whatever weakness existed. I completely understand the pain of our citizens who saw their houses and property burning, the upheaval of having to abruptly leave their homes. In an attempt to quell public anger, officials are set to announce relief measures for those who've lost homes. But that won't be enough to persuade some. There is no way we will leave the village because I believe I can help in some way. Firefighters in Evia are preparing for more strong winds which could make matters worse. In the week that a landmark UN report said human activity was spurring extreme weather events, hundreds of thousands of people in southern Europe are having to live with the deadly consequences. Louis Jabarkil, CGTN.